Hello once again. Now for this case, I have reconstructed the simple circuit that I have shown in the PowerPoint. If you remember, that simple circuit consists of one battery, one resistor, one switch, and some wires. Now notice that when you click on the switch, the circuit from being open becomes closed. And if it's closed, then there would be current going around the circuit. Now this is the schematic diagram and if I click this button, you would see the actual materials, the resistor, the battery, the switch, and the wires. Now notice that you can adjust the voltage of the battery by clicking on it and then sliding the values. And notice that when you decrease the voltage, the current becomes less. And if you increase it, goes faster. Now for the resistor, the same thing happens in accordance with Ohm's law. If you increase the resistance, the current decreases. But if you decrease the resistance, the current increases. We can verify that using the ammeter. Notice that at this point, when the resistance is 12 ohms and the battery has a voltage of 95.5 volts, we can simply compute the current by dividing the voltage by the resistance or by measuring it, which is 7.96. Now, if I increase the voltage, we expect that the current will increase as well. And if I decrease the voltage, we expect that the current would decrease as well. Now for the resistor, if I increase the resistance, we expect that the current decreases. And if I decrease the resistance, we expect that the current increases. Now, I think it's a better idea that instead of using a resistor, in our circuit, why not we use a light bulb so that we can also see how the light bulb glows depending on the values of the elements. So let's try to recreate this circuit using the same materials, but this time, instead of using a resistor, we use a light bulb that has the same resistance. There we go. So we have the same battery with the same voltage and we have the same resistance for the visitor and the light bulb. And if I close this, current is produced. And if I close this, current is produced as well. Now notice that, of course, since the voltage and the resistance are equal, then we expect that the current will be the same as well. In the first circuit, we have 10 amperes for the current. For the second circuit, we have 10 amperes for the current as well. Now, if we adjust some values for the second circuit, we can alter the brightness of the bulb. Maybe it's better if we have an ammeter and a voltmeter. So observe what happens when I decrease the voltage. What happened to the brightness? What happened to the current? What happened to the voltage? Now observe what happens if I alter the resistance. Did anything change? And notice that the resistance is too low. The circuit becomes overloaded. And because of that, fires might break out.
So that's why we need resistors to impede the current. Now let's make it back to normal. So that's for a simple circuit. Now for the next video, we'll be exploring circuits that contain two or more resistors and that are connected in different ways.